So, good afternoon. Welcome to week four. So this week we are into the fourth pillar, the last pillar of flip learning. That will be professional um, educator. So here we are on the front page. Again, I've updated the front page with announcements, this week's activities. There's probably going to be a slight shift on this afternoon session because uh, the U.S. and Canada switched daylight savings time, so we're only in so we're like two hours behind Eastern and only one hour ahead of Pacific. It's messy for this month where we're not changing and they are. So uh, I asked actually Kate Baker to join us again on Thursday afternoon, but that's probably not going to work for myself. So we're going to see what we do for that afternoon session. Again, I really would like to get people that are in the course um, online with us for these Google Hangout sessions, whether it's the evening session on Wednesday. We'll go ahead and use the evening session, 8 p.m. local time which will be actually 10 p.m. Eastern or uh, to 7 p.m. Pacific. So we'll see how that works. Um, but the Thursday afternoon, I think it's gonna have to shift because Kate said she'd come, but it won't work out because I forgot about the, the daylight saving times snafu. Anyway, so what we should be looking at is this week, we're into unit four, professional educator, all right? Uh, this has a lot to do with how you are building your professional learning network, in my opinion. and constantly reevaluating your role as educators. Okay, so I've got a few links here for you to look at. Uh, definitely take a look at Audrey Waters' piece on the Hippocratic Oath for Ed Tech. Great piece to think about and reflect about uh, our role as educators and, and how we balance our time with our students. I, I went back to this, I've re read it before, and it's a great post by Audrey. Definitely check out Audrey's blog, follow it, add it to your feed so you can follow Audrey's work. Brian uh, Bennett, a colleague of mine in flip class, and we saw Brian uh, talk to us the other week about a uh, flexible environment, actually. Uh, so go and take a look at what Brian wrote just last week, A Solemn Duty of Educating, and, and how he's been battling with how we balance uh, paying attention to an individual student versus what the cost of, of that is to the group. So definitely take a look at Brian's post as well, writes great blog posts. And then this other post, the three evolving thoughts about flip learning. I've read this, uh, let's see, last summer, I remember running into this post and, and conversing with Robert Talbert. Another reason I brought this up, beside it being a great post for you to look at, is this caused me to send a Twitter message to Robert and we had a, a discussion going back and forth about our views on flip learning. I want you to increase your network, whether it's via Twitter, Facebook groups, Pinterest, Google+, whatever, Grow what is your network of colleagues in your area of education, whether it's the didactic level of flip learning or whether it's I'm a math teacher, an English teacher, a history teacher, or a computer science teacher, and I have my circle of people that I go to for advice about my teaching. So that's really what this week is about. In, in my opinion, you might interpret this uh, pillar differently, and I invite you to interpret differently. Again, conversation here in the comments field of our course or and uh, via Twitter. So get your post together, get your reflections, reflect on this. If you've got suggestions, suggest here, definitely go for that. Visit other, other people's blogs and comment there. And again, I'd really like to see some of us here on, on Wednesday night or, or Thursday afternoon. I'm not sure if it's gonna be Wednesday afternoon. It might even be Tuesday afternoon or Friday. I'm, I'm waiting to see what Kate answers me about which days work for her. I know she's traveling right now. She was at South by Southwest education conference so um, and also remember in Spanish English I don't care we can do the, the hangout any way you want also the uh, office hours that I usually do on Wednesday morning and Friday morning or Wednesday afternoon and Friday morning I'd love to make those hangouts with you as well if we can go ahead and do that so that's unit four uh, pillar floor pillar floor pillar four we're gonna move on to you starting to plan your first activity some of you are already implementing your first activities in flip learning so maybe you'll just twist that around and do some reflection on what's happened with you so far some of you might not have go ahead and start planning and thinking about how are you gonna put flip learning into your classroom and that's what your objective is for the two weeks after this all right so have an excellent week I'll look forward to some great interaction online have a good one Thank you.